What is going on beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue and this is the Flight Seat Pro by Next Level Racing. It was a freaking truck load. Check this out. Next Level Racing Flight Seat Pro and Next Level Racing Flight Stand Pro. And it came off of that truck over there. Here it is. I finally got it all set up. This is the newest product from Next Level Racing, the Flight Seat Pro. It took me about two hours to put it together, but it's all made of heavy duty, I believe it says steel, metal, I'm not sure, but it's definitely heavy. The chair itself is really heavy. The box it came in is about, I think, a bit over 100 pounds. Uh, has the same seat from the flight simulator cockpit that Next Level Racing has with the little cutout here uh, for either a joystick or your yoke. So the seat itself is actually pretty comfortable, I'll be honest. Uh, and the back support as well is pretty comfortable. Um, but I will warn you, one of my older seats, that the foam that they use, like I work at home and I pretty much sit on mine like 24-7. So uh, mine is already starting to kind of slouch on either side and kind of get lower so i mean after maybe a year you might start to see kind of your butt in imprint kind of really push this foam down and in that case i'm not sure if they sell an additional um seat for you to replace it with what i start doing is i start putting like blankets or pillows or whatever underneath here um in order to kind of support the missing uh foam area that's been lost for me sitting on there for so so long and then down here on the bottom of the seat, there is a bit of an adjustment handle. Lots of ways to adjust this, which is nice. You can pull this up and pull forward, and you can actually move this seat forward and back. And if you want to lean back, again, loving the wheels on it, I can just roll it around to show you this. If you want to lean back, there's also a handle here on both the left and the right side. You pull them up, and then you can actually lean the seat back, and the seat will lean all the way pretty much flat, which is pretty cool and impressive. So yeah, so far the chair is very adjustable. The only thing that you cannot adjust, which is quite a shame, and that is the height of the chair. So uh, that's definitely a bummer for some of us who may be a bit shorter, but um, usually the height should be okay. But for some, that might be an issue. Down here, right in the middle of the chair, there's a few holes here. There's actually a mount that you can mount here for a sensor mounted joystick whether you have the extended version or whichever joystick you have. Um, if you don't have that type of joystick, there's also here on the side, matter of fact, this has wheels. So I can just rotate that, look at that. Look how smoothly that rotates. Depends, you know, if you're on a carpet or whatever. Let's go ahead and flip it back around. Yeah, so right here on the right side of the seats, you have your panel, same exact panel that you would be uh, probably used to if you've seen the Next Level Racing Flight Simulator light chair or the Boeing chair, which I have. It's a bit of a mess over there. My equipment is over there and my racing gear is over there right now, but that's the Boeing chair in the background. But right here on the right side, you're usually going to mount your joysticks, your throttles, whatever type of flight simulator hardware you have will go here on this uh, right side or on the left side over there. And all these holes here in the middle are all various, I mean, I mean, there's so many different mounting configurations you can do for almost every uh, flight simulator throttle or joystick you can think of. There is a combination here that you can mount it, hard mount it with a screw. Screws do come in the box that you need to mount it if you need to. It also has this nice smooth surface here on the right. If you wanna use that for like a mouse pad, for example, you can throw a whole mouse pad on here if you don't have any controls on this side, which is what I do on mine when I don't have any uh, controls on this side. So you can do that. You can also, uh, you know, just use this tiny piece here as a, you know, as a keyboard section. Also, we'll make our way around. We have our seat belts for your full immersion. Uh, I love using these for live streams. It actually clicks and everything. I mean, that's pretty legit. <laughs> you can tighten them, whatever you need for your size. Again, about sway seating. The rest of it is made out of leather, has a level racing logo there. We can roll it around. One of my favorite things about this um, chair is actually that it does have wheels on the bottom. So, you know, you can kind of move it around if you need to. It is a bit big, so you got flight simulator here in the back. You see your straps go all the way back to the bottom. 
nice little raging logo down there. And now looking to the left side, we have another panel here for your flight sim hardware. Again, joysticks, throttles, whatever it is you're using for your setup, you can do that. And if you really maybe just only want the chair for whatever reason, you can easily unmount these or adjust them. If you look down here below, you can see you can just kind of unscrew these screws here and you can slide it forward, slide it back, move it up, move it down, or completely take it off. That's up to you, however you want to do. Also, while we're down here, there's also, I don't currently have, I don't have this item, but if you want to use the, uh, what is it called? I think the next level has their, their own motion platform. There is a way that this can be configured to work exactly with it. It already has the, the holes mounted on here. It has everything you need. Just all you need is the motion platform adapter, I believe, and then the actual, obviously, the motion platform. You can actually put a motion platform right underneath here, which is pretty cool. That's pretty, I mean, I can't imagine. Um, can't imagine. So again, working our way around. On the front, uh, it has, again, we already here, but it has this kind of foot plate. Now this and this here will actually connect to the Flight Stand Pro. Um, right here, actually gonna slide, the, slide uh, the Flight Stand right in here. You can actually connect that, make it one piece. So this is just a seat. Um, personally, uh, there is pretty much everything you need except one very important piece. And that is, where do you mount the yoke? Where do you mount the yoke? Well, in the box, sadly, there is no yoke mount. Because usually, you know, if you're using like a, a flight control with a yoke on it, you're going to need a, a, a center mount, like a honeycomb or a turtle beach or a Thrustmaster TCA yoke. Um, that's not going to work out too well. Um, your best option is going to have a joystick throttle over here, joystick throttle here, or a joystick in the center. There is no center mount for this chair which is actually surprising to me it's actually one thing i kind of expected with a flight similar to the chair so honestly in my opinion it would probably be best um it really depends on what it is you want to use this for right so if you are a kind of person who just does like military or helicopter this would honestly be perfect for you if you're the kind of person who maybe already has kind of a partial setup where you really enjoy and you like your desktop setup and you have like a, a custom desk or something like that and all you really want is a chair with maybe a couple extra mounts this chair could be perfect for you for that reason as well but if you're the kind of person who wants to get a flight sim chair and it has all the mounts you need including a center yoke mount this is not going to be the chair for you but the good thing is there is an additional piece that you can buy it is sold separately which is the flight stand pro and i'll show you that now and here is the Flight Stand Pro. I only have a few pieces of equipment on it, but you can see I have my rudder pedals down on the bottom right now. We have uh, mounting areas on the left and the right, as well as a place for your mouse pad. The exact same one you get on the Flight Seat Pro. Um, one thing you get on the, on the Flight Stand Pro that you don't get in the Flight Seat Pro is a keyboard mount. And that's going to be all the way over here. Um, I don't have it mounted up right now for spatial reasons, and I don't actually need it. But if you want to put your keyboard somewhere, there is a mount for that to put on the left. I think you can also do it on the right. I go into a lot more detail on my dedicated flight stand video, uh, so check that out. But it has very sturdy. It is also on wheels, which again, my favorite part about this whole set. And it fits perfectly with the flight seat. They just work perfectly together. I'm honestly surprised they weren't you know, originally sold together, but I, I kind of get it. Some people might only want to stand. Maybe you already have some type of chair, some kind of flight sim cockpit that you already are accustomed to. And it's kind of gives you the option, right? It gives you another option to um, have just a seat or just a stand, depending on your own personal reasons and, and you know, whatever it is, it, it is. Um, so it fits perfectly down there, you can see. You can actually uh, screw that in if you want it to be permanently on there, or you just lock all the wheels, obviously, and you can just make it work just like that. Let me get a quick look at it from a bit farther away. There it is, all of it kind of put together. Again, it has a lot of, look, look at this though. It has a lot of mounts. You have double the mounting areas um, that you would if you only had one of them. Honestly, compared to the Boeing, again, sorry, it's a bit of a mess over there. Got my racing stuff set up over there right now, but um, the Boeing seat, only has the right and the left mount. You don't get any additionals except for the center mount for the yoke itself. And obviously I have it working with racing direct drive Moser R5 wheel there. But um, if you have both, you get both. If you only buy one of either, you only get the two mounts. Um, it actually recommends 
that you take, I believe, these off on the top and only use the ones on the bottom. But I mean, for a flight sim, you could use all the space you can get. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need all the space you can get. So I think for a flight sim, I think it'd be perfect. But again, your own preferences, your own preferences, whatever it is you need, you can make that happen here with the flight sim. But I think personally, my personal opinion is that if you want an entire flight sim setup, um, something more uh, permanent maybe, I think that the flight simulator cockpit, the Boeing version that we have here, would be a better option um, than this. So I think this is gonna be a great option for some people, but um, now you have an option. That's the best part is now you have another option. There's not a lot of people making flight simulator seats out there um, or stands for flight simulators. And I'm glad Next Level Racing is supporting the flight sim hobby. Also, as I said, I don't have the center joystick mount put in right now, but the flight stand also has a center mount that comes off the middle that it can come here if you don't want on the bottom. There's actually two options. This is the one on the top underneath where the yoke is. You would also uh, mount it down there at the very bottom of this as well as the rudder pedals are adjustable. Again, all this has been talked about in the other flight stand video. Very beneficial. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and one last thing. I've actually recently learned that a lot of us flight simmers also love to race too. And I do think that this is a good option for those who do both, especially the flight stand. The flight stand not only will mount most of your flight sim hardware, but also will be great and stable for a direct drive wheel or any type of racing wheel you want to clamp on here. As long as you have like a desk clamp or something like that, the clamp on here, see how thick that is in the front and the back's actually much thinner. So yeah, I think I'd be a good option for racing as well if you do both. So my final thoughts on the Flight Seat Pro are, um, it's pretty comfortable to be honest with you. Again, I love the wheels, how I'm able to move around. I love how adjustable it is. Uh, there is one big thing uh, that stood out to me that's a negative that I did already mention and that is the fact that there is no center mounted yoke mount. Uh, like if you want to use the Turtle Beach or the TCA Oak or the Honeycomb, anything like that, you are not going to have an option to do that. Your only option in the center is to use the joystick center mount, uh, like if you use like a wind wing or something like that. So that's a downside, but that's, that's if that even matters to you. Um, for some people that's not a big deal because they, they don't fly that type of aircraft. So if the, all you need is, you know, a joystick on your left or throttle on your right or, you know, if, if the layout is works out for you, I think it's fine. Or maybe even say you have some type of custom made desk or custom made cockpit that you've done, uh, where you already have a mount for your yoke and maybe even all your flight controls and all you want is just a stylish, nice chair. This could definitely be an option for you, uh, for that. You just might want to check the dimensions. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's definitely, I think this chair is definitely made for someone, um, and I think you know who you are. If if you're like, eh, doesn't make any sense, then it's not for you. But some people out there are definitely going to be in a special scenario where this chair is going to be the best option for them. I think if that's not the case, I think most people are probably going to want to go ahead and just get the full Next Level Racing Boeing cockpit um, that comes with all the mounts you need, center mounted yokes. Uh, joystick positions, all that kind of stuff. Either way, Next Level is gonna give you a good solid product. I mean, it's definitely heavy duty, it's definitely durable, it's definitely going to last. I've had my flight simulator cockpit for a while now and I have no complaints except for that the seat kind of gets a little bit deflated, I guess you could say, after about a year's time, um, which I've kind of adjusted by just putting pillows or blankets on top of it, which is fine and it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm not picky on that. But I think the quality is great, and if this chair is attractive to you, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is just my first look so far, but I'm looking forward to giving it some extended use, and definitely check back for an updated review later on on the full suite of products. As always, I want to know what your thoughts and opinions are, so drop them in the comments, and until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. I'm out. Let's go! It's a seat, man. It's a chair.